Hey friends, this is Doug with Doug Johnson Productions in Orem, Utah, and we're going to talk today about the Blackmagic Design HyperDeck Shuttle video recorder. This is a solid state disc based video recorder. It supports video formats from uh, standard def all the way up through 1080i uh, high def. So uh, take a look at the unit here. It's actually pretty small. Um, you can get a feel for the size. Uh, this is a two and a half inch off the shelf SSD. Uh, Blackmagic has certain SSDs they recommend uh, to work better and, they guarantee, and they're supposed to be guaranteed to work. Along the front panel here we've got a record button and then we've also got previous track and then a little further down the next next track selection so if you're using it as a, a playback device you can select which which video file you want to play. And we have a stop button and then a play button which also doubles as the loop toggle so after you start playing you hit the play button again that will turn it into loop mode and play the same same file over and over again. A display button which actually does absolutely nothing whatsoever a power button which you do have to press and hold momentarily in order to get the device to turn on or off and then on the end we've got LEDs indicating that uh, it has a valid video signal uh, that it is that either uh, the SSD is either being tested or currently being used in this case you can see it's flashing because I am, I am recording this video on here and then on the far right there are four LEDs indicating the battery level and the device actually does have a battery inside of it. Uh, Blackmagic claims that the battery lasts about two hours. I can't confirm or deny that. I've never used it on the battery. I've always uh, given it power every time I've used it. Like I just don't want to risk having the video uh, cut out on this device because it's run out of power. So I always run it on AC power. Now, um, I'm going to stop recording on this one for a moment and disconnect the cable so I can turn it around and show the rear panel. On the back, we've got the 12 volt power input, and then we have HDMI input and output, and then SDI input and output, and then a USB port, which is basically only used for doing firm firmware updates. Uh, the SDI ports, uh, instead of using standard BNC connections, uses the mini DIN connectors. Uh, so if you're buying this unit, you want to make, make, make sure that you buy some adapter cables. Uh, otherwise, uh, you won't be able to use the SDI um, at all. So, um, if both HDMI and SDI are plugged in, it uses whichever video was supplied first. Alright, um, it records uh, uncompressed, uncompressed files um, and also will handle uh, ProRes and a couple different variants and then DNX HD uh, for those using Avid or an Avid compatible editor. Um, the unit's very easy to use. It uh, has absolutely no on-screen display whatsoever. So the only feedback you get as to what's going on is what you see on the front panel. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and initiate playback of what I recorded just a moment ago and let you, let you see some of that. So this is me getting ready for, for, this, for this recording. Uh, just recorded just a moment ago. Uh, video quality is actually very good. Uh, I haven't had any issues with video quality whatsoever. Uh, it looks just fine, uh, no matter which format it's used. Obviously, uncompressed is going to give you a pristine signal, but the ProRes and the DNX HD looks just fine as well. Um, pros on the device: it's very compact, uh, pretty lightweight, uses standard off-the-shelf solid-state drives. So you don't have to buy any special certified drives or uh, caddy with a off-the-shelf drive or anything like that. Uh, just pop the drive in the computer to format it first and then pop it in the device, hit the record button and you're good to go. Uh, very easy to use. Uh, it's also uh, fairly inexpensive. You know, the street price on this is about $325 to $350 US. So you don't, you don't find a lot of uh, high-def compatible video recorders in that price range. Cons on the device. Now this is kind of where we get into the reason that I'm not, not going to be able to give this product a recommendation. First of all, the current firmware 4.4 series, the entire series, has a pretty serious bug in it. Where if you try and switch the video format from ProRes to DNX HD or vice versa, it actually freezes the device and the only recovery for it is to flash the firmware over again. Uh, but because of this bug, you pretty much can't switch between those two formats. Uh, anytime you attempt to, it locks up the device. I've contacted Blackmagic support on that. 
they've confirmed it to be a bug, uh, but yet it hasn't been fixed, and there have been three firmware update re uh, releases since I worked with them, and they still haven't fixed it. So I, I'm hoping they still will, but we've gone for eight months now uh, without the problem being addressed. Uh, the other issue that I've run into with this, and I've had the same issue on the, the rack mount HyperDeck Studio products, is that it will just randomly stop recording for no apparent what reason whatsoever. And we're talking about having a nice, perfectly stable video signal coming in, using SSDs certified, once I've been certified by Blackmagic, listed on their website as being uh, capable of sustaining the constant stream of video coming in, and yet it will just randomly drop. And of course there's no any warning that it's happened, it just, the record light goes out and the stop light comes on and doesn't, it just stops recording. So, um, because of that, I have a really hard time recommending this product. I just not found it to be reliable. And in fact, at this point, I've stopped using them. I've got four of these things, and I've stopped using them just because I can't count on them. I've had them fail on me too many times in order for me to make, make a recommendation. Uh, the latest firmware update the 4 .4, in the 4.4 series, which came out uh, a little over a month ago, I think it was, uh, claims to fix the stability issue with recording, but you can't put it on here because otherwise if you do that you won't be able to make the selection between ProRes and DNX, ENX HD. So in order to use this thing at all, you really have to be on the firmware 4.3 series and if you do that you're definitely subject to uh, recordings that just stop at random. So um, if you have multiple of these and you chain one into another and record on both, on both uh, you might be able to make something work and have something be at least somewhat reliable and have something you have to have somebody paying attention to see if it stops recording so you can start it again and then at that point you can piece a good recording together from from the two individual recordings that you've created but that's an awful lot of work and I tend to think that hardware should not exhibit that kind of weird behavior for no apparent reason and so again I have a hard time recommending this product but again, there are not a lot of uh, options out there in this price range for recording high def video. So maybe you still want to get this. And if you do choose to buy it, use the link down in the description. Uh, gives me a few pennies on the dollar in order to support the creation of these videos. Um, the other thing I should mention, I mentioned it earlier briefly, uh, it only does up to 1080i. It does not do 1080p60 or anything higher than that. So it doesn't even handle 3G. It's HD, SDI, and SDI only on the SDI port and then HDMI of course just up to 1080i so uh, that actually makes it difficult for me to use as well because I, these days I'm shooting everything 1080p 60 or 4k one of the two so anyway so that's that's the Blackmagic Design HyperDeck shuttle uh, video recorder um, be sure and leave comments down below and let, let me know what you think uh, also, be sure to ask any questions on there. I try to get, to get back to you as soon as I possibly can with, uh, with either an answer or where to find the answer if I don't know it. So anyway, uh, like and subscribe. And uh, again, thanks for watching.